Here we will tell you all about the origins, the biology and the seven life cycle stages of a Demogorgon. So let's get to it. Let's start with the origins. These monsters called Demogorgons are carnivorous monsters from the upside down dimension of Stranger Things. All Demogorgons encountered so far are considered to be followers of either Vecna or the Mind Flayer and are a part of the upside down's hive mind. They are bloodthirsty vicious creatures and have limited intelligence. They have inhabited the upside down dimension way before Vecna took control of the hive mind. They are probably one of the apex predators of that place and are a vital part of the desolate ecosystem, operating as top hunters for prey that have yet been seen. So let's take a look at their biology and anatomy. The Demogorgon is a bipedal creature with two long forelimbs and two slim but powerful hind legs. It has a humanoid body structure, but that's about all it has that is similar between it and a human. Its skin is bulletproof and has a very dense skeletal and muscular structure underneath its tough hide. The hands have very long fingers that end with sharp claws capable of cutting through steel. The legs are digitigrade and have two toes with an extra one high on the heel, but each one of them possessing a long claw at the end. The head is the most intriguing part as it opens up like a petal with five detachable lips having hundreds of barts and teeth lined in rows along the mouth. It is carnivorous in habit and possesses a digestive system capable of taking in meat and flesh from both the upside down life forms and the real world creatures as well. But in its early stages, it can ingest and process a wide variety of food substances including candy and anything biological in nature including plants. When it grows, it becomes an obligate carnivore in that it only prefers to kill and eat other animals and also humans. It possesses a stomach with a very strong acid and also a very slimy saliva. One very unique trait in that these creatures possess no eyes and are thought to rely on other senses like sound, like a graboid from Tremors or the death angels from that movie, and other unknown sensors like xenomorphs. Okay, so now let's get into the life cycle of these monsters from the upside down. A Demogorgon's life cycle appears to include six or seven different phases and is compared in some aspects to those of Earth amphibian species. The cycle begins with the dumping of eggs or larva into a host by a tentacle within the upside down in that those are the only examples of Demogorgon reproduction documented. The eggs are probably the first stage and are not seen but theorized to exist as larvae are always a second stage in any animal life cycle after emerging from a particular egg. The second stage, larvas. The larval demogorgons are similar in shape and size to garden slugs. However, they are colored and differently shaped. Larval demogorgons are dark green in color with vivid yellow markings and spots. They are slimy and move about in a slow manner. They hatch from eggs that are inserted in a human or an animal's body which means that they are likely similar to the embryos of the xenomorphs that are impregnated in a human host by a face hugger. Similar in a way but they need to come out in order to further their own life cycle. The third stage is called the polywalk. A larval demagogue would molt into the next stage of its life cycle after an undetermined period of time and was frequently referred to as a polywalk during that time owing to its similarity to the larval stage of frogs. Polywalks are small enough to fit in the palm of your hand and their transparent skin is yellow green in hue. They have two forelimbs with claw like hands, a mouth and a lizard like tail. They are extremely sensitive to heat even direct exposure to light and sun or a table lamp causes them great agony. They appear to be opportunistic feeders at this time eating anything in their path. So we come to the fourth stage which is a quadrupedal polywalk. The fourth stage of the cycle unlike the previous ones is not entered by a creature's molting, it is grown gradually. This stage is instead indicated by the polywalk skin turning a dark green hue and an increase in body bulk. The polywalk will then develop hind legs and become quadrupedal. The creature's mouth begins to acquire little sharp teeth in its mouth. In this form, it can move more freely and hop around in a limited manner, but still leaving slime wherever they go. So the fifth stage. This is called the Catagorgon because it somehow resembles a house cat in size, habit and movement. So when the polywalk has consumed enough food, it molds and grows into the size of a typical house cat. 
It is during this stage that the juvenile demogorgon develops the species signature petal mouth. Uh, furthermore, the juvenile develops carnivorous habits and its skin darkens and becomes heat resistant allowing it to walk in the sunshine without damage. The sixth stage. The adolescent demogorgon then matures into a considerably larger version of their former form after molting into the second last stage of their life cycle, which Dustin refers to as a demodog. The demodog, now nearly the size of a huge dog like a Saint Bernard, is strong enough to take on a grown human. They are skilled at constructing tunnels and climbing steep cliffs. While a demodog is not really immune to gunfire, its skin is thick enough to withstand many shots. The demodog do have a lot of similarities with the demogorgon such as the mouth and skin, but are more quadrupedal than their bipedal counterpart. Then finally we have the mature demogorgon. This creature emerges as an adult after molting for the last time. Adult demogorgons are bipedal and grow to be around 6 to 10 feet tall, depending on the specimen. They have incredible strength and can easily knock a door off its hinges and pin down an adult person. Their sense of smell is extremely acute, capable of detecting a trace of blood from the upside down. Their skin has become tough enough to resist gunshots and many strikes from a spiky instrument. It also now has the ability to travel to and from the earth and the upside down by using rifts that it is able to create, like portals, thereby becoming a monster that is fearsome and almost unkillable. So that's it, that's all about the demogorgon, its life cycle, origins and biology. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe, but most of all, smash the bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel.